Hello and welcome to the last uh, step of research process. My name is Dr. Zia and this is my lecture on research methods and we were discussing about research process. We covered the first step that is called the broad problem area, the second step preliminary data gathering, third problem definition, fourth theoretical framework, fifth hypothesis development and now the final step that is sixth step that is called research design elements so let's discuss about research design elements and before going for research design elements let's talk about research design it includes research design includes the objective of research so what is the objective of research you must be having a very clear answer to that the area of thinking that must be very clear the relationship sort that is very important to be focused upon the method of gathering evidence surveys interviews observation that has to be focused upon the kind of data collected that is important again the analysis of data what sort of method you would be using to analyze the data that is important the time to time or time framework or time frame cross sectional or longitudinal this is also important okay the objective of research what should be the objective of research mostly let me help you fact finding should be the objective of research or reporting or causal analysis or finding out the causal relationship so on and so forth whatever is there you need to write it there the area of thinking what does it mean it means that either you can think in the area that that means the field means management marketing finance economics or any any field or any area of thinking the relationship sort what sort of relationship you are looking for it can be association it can be comparison it can be causal so on and so forth the method of generating or gathering uh, not generating actually gathering evidence it can be surveys it can be interviews it can be observations it can be anything else alike the kind of data collected may be quantitative qualitative or anything like that the analysis of the data what sort of analysis what sort of tools or methods you are going to employ to analyze the data maybe sing, uh, simple descriptive maybe multivariate maybe so on and so forth the time frame that can be either cross sectional or longitudinal or you can combine together okay so on the basis of this we move further that's what i call elements of research design in elements of research design let's start with the first element that is called purpose of study what should be the purpose of study? I would request you to pause my video and comment below. All right. So it is the first step or first element of research design. That is purpose of study. So purpose of the study can be either exploratory in nature, descriptive in nature, hypothesis testing, case study analysis, etc, etc, etc. Number two type of investigation what do you mean by type of investigation this is the second element of uh, this research design the type of investigation can be either causal or correlation most of the times in social sciences we conduct the correlational analysis causal study is conducted where you control the as some aspect of the environment the next is study setting study setting can be either contrived or non-contrived what do you mean by contrived or non-contrived contrived environment where you can control the environment the setting it is a sort of what we call the artificial environment non-contrived it means it's open contrived means it's a sort of a laboratory and non-contrived it's open as nat natural okay Next element of uh, research design is unit of analysis. Unit of analysis means that either you are focusing on individuals as your respondents 
or you are going to pick up dyads where you can come up with the couples or like student teacher husband wife brother sister mother uh, daughter etc 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 or you can go for groups or you can uh, your respondents can be the organizations or maybe the cultures so check out what is your unit of analysis then the last one the last aspect or element of research design is time horizon of the study it also matters a lot it can be either cross sectional means once at a time one point in time or you can go for longitudinal means you have you can go for collecting the data more than once in your research or further you can combine both cross sectional as well as longitudinal and you can go for uh, collecting the data so on the basis of this we are concluding the research process which we started from the beginning and we covered the six steps of research design including uh, the, uh, the the broad problem area number 1 then we move towards preliminary data gathering number 3 we move towards problem uh, definition or statement then we move towards theoretical framework then we move towards hypothesis development and finally we reach to research design elements my name is dr zia i thank you very much please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon so that the lectures would reach to you without any interruption i thank you very much and see you in my next lecture